I told you to wait in the car, Gerald. No, you know full well why you're not allowed inside. Because you're not to step within a thousand feet of a Cinnabon, Gerald. No, I don't believe you just want to smell them. <laughs> Hello there. Linda Monroe, president of the Hatchetfield Boating Society. Or perhaps you know my husband, Dr. Monroe of Inner Beauty Rhinoplasty. <laughs> I was wondering if you could just step on back and I could slide in front of you. <laughs> and your time is precious, I'm sure. Which is why I'm willing to compensate you. Look, uh, ma'am, I can't just let you cut in front. Oh. Thank you, Mrs. Monroe. Merry Christmas to you. Thanks. <laughs> Excuse me! What? Oh my god. Gerald, hold on. Becky Barnes is accosting me. Yes, call the police! <laughs> oh, oh no. I did not cut. I bought this spot fair and square. Linda, do you really think your children are better than everyone else's? In so many words, yes! <laughs> oh, shut up! I hope you don't get a wiggly. I hope you fucking die. Accident? Well, my children were accidents. You, you don't... <laughs> you don't see me pushing my problems onto everybody else. And that's why you disgust me. Well, not because you're so naive. Because you're so weak. Stop crying, Gerald. I wasn't talking to you. Oh! No! No, 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 he can't buy all the dolls. Some of us have been waiting in line forever. You should be ashamed of yourself, you disgusting little pervert. How dare you? Are you hearing this, Gerald? Yes, call my attorney. You're aware that my client, Linda Monroe, suffers from a rare, little understood anxiety disorder? No! Of all the arbitrary numbers, why Juan? It should be a nice, even number that we can all agree upon. Like four. Oh. Shut up. Well, you can buy less if you want. And Shut up, Gary. And you, little lady, you are the most special person in it. I know that. You see, Linda, I know why you want those Wiggly dolls. It's the same reason only two of your four children are from Gerald. I want what everybody wants. To be loved. Is that a crime? Oh, Linda, that's the type of bullshit you feed your therapist and your life coach. Come on now! No, 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 Linda. You want to be adored. Worshipped. And I can help make that happen. All you gotta do is just do what you do best. Shaw. Be a mother. Right. Right, I'm a fabulous mother. Mommy. Mother! Mommy. Mother! Mother! <laughs> yes, they're talking about me, Gerald. I dislike that word, Gerald, cult. No, it's some new, exciting religion that I started. Well, yes, of course you can come inside and support me. But before you do, you should know that my first act as Divine Prophet was to set fire to the Cinnabon as a sacrifice to a dark god. Hold on. Yes. I am the Divine Prophet. I have gazed into the face of God. He has chosen me to usher in his reign and give him life. But oh, how, Lord, how? Your voice is so far away, I cannot hear it. I need a vessel filled with your essence to guide your people, to let your will be known. I need a wiggly doll, ideally four of them. I've met God. He had nothing nice to say about you. Oh, you listen to me, you little tramp. Now I know you know where that Wiggly is. <laughs> I can smell him on you. It's perfume to that trailer trash stint. You will adore me, I just know. You'll kneel before me, kiss my toe. 
I demand your love and worship too. If I don't get it, I will and yell. I will destroy everything, and then I will destroy everything. I guarantee I'll destroy everything in my path. Unless I get what I shit, it's I Gerald. Hold on. All right, I keep going. Just don't say the everything. shit part. Well, I don't want you to think for yourselves. I still want you to know what I mean when I say my evil shit, okay? Why am I not surprised? Of course I'd find you here clinging to your antiquated sense of justice, protecting this child because you can't have any of your own. <gasps> Becky, wake up. Belittling you isn't fun if you're not upset. Huh. She's drunk. Again. <laughs> the only man that'll have her now is Jack Daniels. Ha! Get her out of my sight. Is this some kind of a joke? <laughs> Where is he? Answer me! Or I'll open your mouth with my fucking knife! <laughs> 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 The plans he has for you and me, me more favorably. The earth is looking good and ripe. <laughs> Becky Barnes, you pathetic worm. You think you can stop the birth of a god? You couldn't even stand up to your disgusting husband. Look at you, you're paralyzed with fear.